James Warren, who died on November 28th of 1808, was the husband of author Mercy Otis Warren. Now that name, Mercy Otis Warren, is very influential. She's one of the most influential women in America at this time. Mercy Otis Warren was called the conscience of the revolution. Now, why would a woman be called the conscience of the revolution? Why? For her correspondence with many founding fathers. So she wrote letters to uh, George Washington and wrote letters to Thomas Jefferson and wrote letters to all these different leaders. And she would be saying, you need to do this. You need to do that. And so they would read like, well, okay, you know, she's making some sense. Mercy Otis Warren and her husband, James Warren, were anti-federalists. Now, what's an anti-federalist? That means they were against the federal government. They were against the uh, Constitution. So, so here's James Warren, president of the Massachusetts Provincial Congress, his wife, Mercy w Otis Warren, and uh, they were against the U.S. Constitution. Why would they be against the Constitution? They did not think there were enough limits to prevent the federal government from becoming a totalitarian dictatorship. In other words, we just broke from Britain where there was the king and the king would appoint the judges. And so if you went before a judge, you're not gonna get fair justice. He's, he owes the king his allegiance because that's where his paycheck comes from. And uh, they, in, Amer in America, they were upset with one person holding all this power. And so, um, James and Mercy Warren did not think that our new constitution had enough safeguards to prevent power from reaccumulating back into the hands of a dictator. One of the books that I wrote called Change to Chains is the 6,000 year quest for global control. It talks about how the norm for world government is dictators, Pharaoh, Caesars, Kaisers, Sultans, Tsars, Maharajas, and you know, Indian uh, chiefs and so forth. What's rare is people stretching the rubber band and having power in the hands of the people. But in times of crises, the rubber band snaps back. And so America, when we were putting our country together, the idea is we want to go the opposite of a king. We want to separate the power into the hands of the people. But James and Mercy Warren thought there's not enough checks and balances to prevent the rubber band from snapping back.